that's true on the parking issue, Hancock Bank, our own City Hall, all these, we're backing right out into traffic. Well, but see, those are designated, those are supposed yeah, to be parking places. The parking in front of Jerry Longmore is not parking places. You can't say, well, you've got parking places that back out in the street because they're not parking places. And they're not supposed to be parking there. He has a different zone too, Ron. I mean, it's zone different. You know, even, though, uh, even what we're dealing with right before you get into a new ordinance, that we're so they right. can be ticketed by the police department. Exactly. So, so if then, yeah, they're not. It's not a parking lot. If if we have exhausted all good faith effort for you to try to make one more step then I don't know what role we've got here based on what you're saying. I don't think there should be any action on this board. We don't have to have a plan to deny the information. Well, I'm going to go to the planning commission. Well, I'd just like to say that I I see that you have your designated parking areas. You don't intend for them to park there. I don't know what we could do to... You put up no parking signs. Put so a no bike grid, and every time I get out, give them a little electrical shock. No, but I, I, <laughs> I understand that you paved that there, so you don't want dirt and mud tracked into your shop. Um, when you put your your product out there, do you put it out closer to the road, toward, so, so it eats up that space, or, or do you have do you just put it just a little bit where there's room for people to park? At times, it's there's uh, enough out there where you can't. Park there, but I hope to stay sold down nowhere. Right. That don't happen. But, but if, if you could kind of, if you could kind of fudge your, your out there, if you could kind of fudge your equipment out there, so it kind of deters it a little bit, probably help. All right. All right. What? What? Yeah, I will say anything else. We're talking about parking in front of the building. If they would on the west side of the building, something would prevent all this loading to make it a little more fast. We would just complain about that part. On the west side. On the west side. The east side. The east side. I'm sorry. Okay. The east I, side. I thought we fixed the tack no, no, part of it. No, no. Just got my direction. Go. The east uh, side of the building is right in front of us. If something could be done to this more traffic to prevent all this loading and unloading. If the city doesn't mind them parking in front of the shop, we won't object to that. Our main objection is what you see right now. And that is on the east side of the building where the chain link fence and all this activity goes on, regardless of people signs hanging on the fence. Okay. And, uh, and we, we're going to try to get some, uh, we'll try to get some, some signs out there, no parking, on some posts along the same area that you have <coughs> hanging on the fence so that we we'll, I feel like, we've done what we need to do. And, uh, I guess about the only thing I was just going to add to, to your comment is based on the ordinance that from what I'm hearing that he meets, I don't know if we have any legal obligation to do that. I wish we did because yeah. as, you, as, as I've stated, I, I don't, don't like the view over there either, but I don't know what our well, recourse I, is. As far as appearance goes, if you put some red tips or some vegetation to partially screen that, well, that would improve the appearance of that. And it does face the rest of your place. You know, again, we're talking about making improvements in Long Beach. Jeff Davis has been doing wonderful. But if we're going to continue to have areas like this as new areas, you know, Long Beach is not going to improve. If I go buy 25 red tin bushes tomorrow and plant them along there, we'll be back next month with something different. And don't tell me we won't. Because I've been here for, I've been doing it for four times. I will times. say on the record. All right. This the the record is over. Okay. Right. The hearing is closed. Okay. The record is up here now. Okay. okay. What? The most is going to be with everything that's been discussed, I don't think that we have enough evidence as far as clarifications on the, on the laws and the codes. And she herself said she doesn't want to shut down the business. So I make the motion that he continue his he gets his certificate of occupancy to continue his business. Okay, then we'll change it. I change it to uphold the planning commission's decision. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor of that motion? Okay. Second. I'd like to say one thing. 
I've been listening to both sides for quite a while. And it's a shame that the only people that are gonna win out of this is the attorneys. They're the only ones that are gonna win. Here we have a business that's been, and with all due respect, Ms. Blake, the Jefferson doesn't pay anything but taxes on this property, that's terrible. He pays thousands and thousands of dollars taxes to the city for his retail business. He has it's a family business that's been here for God knows how long, 40 years. I know it's not the issue, man. I know it's not. And that's the reason I'm saying it's something so petty that we need, we need to come together. We need to come together. And as far as aesthetics, if it's aesthetics, I'm sure Johnny will do everything in his power to try to make everything appealing in the neighborhood. I, I, I feel certain about that. Do you want to take a question? Do you want to take a motion carries. certified mail to Patricia C. Richmond, 210 Ferguson Avenue, as it appears on the tax rolls. Uh, the letter, the notice was returned as undeliverable. Mr. Levin posted a notice of, uh, of the public hearing on such a property on September 21, 2010. Mr. Levin visited the subject property today and took photographs of the property as it sits today and I have an affidavit that I have sworn out that Mr. Reynolds has sworn all these things to me. Uh, the photographs that were taken today show that the property has been brought into compliance. They, they cut the grass, they trimmed the bushes. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember this, oh, yeah. you couldn't even see the house. Okay, this is where the That's so if we can have a motion to just make all of this a part of the record. Second. Uh, uh, well, we need to see if there any property owner or their representative here. Okay, is there a representative here of uh, Patricia C. Richmond? Patricia C. Richmond in the party? Uh, and then we need to just have a motion to close the hearing. Motion to close the hearing. to that address on the uh, 27th, September 27th. In addition, Mr. Lavins posted the notice of public hearing on the subject property on September 21st. Uh, Mr. Lavins visited the property today and took photographs of the property, which as you can see, there's been nothing done to the property. It's not in compliance 
have uh, I have an affidavit that uh, Mr. Levins has sworn all these things to me. We can spread all of that into the minutes. So Second. All in favor? Uh, motion carries. Uh, is the property owner or their representative? <coughs> It's called CRJ 8th Avenue Properties, LLC. Is anybody here representing the farm or these owners? We need a motion to close the door. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, I have a resolution uh, to adjudicate the property, give them 10 days to clean it, or the city will. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Roll call. Roll call, Mr. Parker. Aye. Mr. Fonchek? Aye. Ms. Anderson? Aye. Ms. Gruba? Aye. Mr. Lashen? Aye. Mr. Holmes? <laughs> he left the plane. No. Is Mr. Hammond there? He left the building. <laughs> he got four. Um, Motion carried. <clears throat> okay, the next property we have is 237 South Lane Avenue. It says to Jane Ellis Estate. Uh, illegal notice was sent certified mail uh, as it appears on the tax rolls to Jane Ellis Estate at 237 South Lane Avenue. The, the notice was returned undeliverable. Uh, the notice was posted by the building official on the subject property on September the 21st. Mr. Levins visited the property today and took photographs showing the condition of the property on the date of this hearing, which you can see the property has not been brought into compliance, and I have an affidavit that Mr. Levis has sworn all these things to me and have a motion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed motion carries. Uh, is the representative of Ms. Ellis present? <coughs> in the audience. Associated, connected, or able to represent the Ellis estate, the Jane Ellis estate, or property. On Lane, South Lane. Motion to close the hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.